It's time for our Bulldog Conversation. I'm Brad Radisi. And we're talking about Christmas around the world, a long-standing tradition here at Sanford dating back to the 1950s. I recently sat down with Dr. Michael Ledgerwood, chair of our World Languages and Cultures, and I first asked him for a brief description of this amazing event. Christmas around the world is a, um, it's a special event that we do at Sanford. Uh, it's been going on for at least since 1957 when Sanford moved to the Homewood campus from East Lake, and the current format dates from the 1980s. So what it is, it's, uh, well, again, it's, it's Sanford's oldest and second largest Christmas event. But what it is, it, it's a chance for, for students and others attending to get into the Christmas spirit, the Christmas season. Uh, we begin with welcome in different languages. We have opening invocations in a couple of languages. And then we alternate between scripture readings and music in different languages. Uh, we have a total of 20 languages represented in the Christmas around the world this year. Mm -hmm. We're proud of that. And then the, 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 the Christmas around the world he ends with a resounding silent night. We begin in German, of course, because it was written and sung first in German. And then we have different languages sing. And finally, everyone in the whole Reed Chapel sings in English with the organ blasting and we rock the, the rafters of Reed Chapel. And it goes off so flawlessly. How much time and effort do you put into it to get ready for that day? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we begin in August, actually. Uh, we start working with our lesser commonly taught languages, our critical languages program in September. Well, once they arrive on campus and get their feet wet, and then we work on the readings with them. We try to figure out if there are students with musical talent in those languages who would like to sing and perform uh, their, those languages. And then we pick out the languages for the French, Spanish, and German students mm -hmm. in September as well and start practicing those. So it, it's a long process. And what's amazing is, and you mentioned it a little bit, but, but, the, but the wide variety of languages that we hear from, things I've never heard before, but I hear it at your, your concert. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <clears throat> what we try to do is to have languages from all over the world, you know, yeah. as, as befits the title of the event. And, and this year, uh, again, we'll have primarily European languages, but we'll also have African and Asian languages as well. And um, we'll have, uh, and, and I, for example, I'm, I'm doing the Lord's Prayer in Catalan, which is a language of Spain that most people don't even know is spoken in Spain. You mentioned how historical this event is. How proud are you, how proud are you to be a part of it in this day and time? Uh, very proud, obviously. Um, it does take a lot of time, but it's good for all of our students. They, all of our students get a chance to join in, they get a chance to sing and participate. Mm -hmm. So everyone in Reed Chapel is actually participating in the event. Uh, it's. Um, it's, it has a wonderful history. It definitely predates the time I've been here at Sanford. This is right. my tenth year at Sanford, and it's. it's but I'm a historian by by training as well, and so for me, it, it's just wonderful to be part of the tradition that continues. I feel every year that this event really kicks off the Christmas season at Sanford. Just tell me a little bit about Christmas being celebrated here on campus. It's something I think we hold so dearly. We really do. I mean. One of the wonderful things about being in the Christian University is that we can certainly celebrate Christmas and enjoy celebrating Christmas, all of us here. And for many of us, that's a relief. I was at a state university for a very long time, and again, Christmas was not really mentioned there. Right. But here we celebrate it, we really enjoy it. And um, this particular event gives us a chance to look at Christmas in different cultures, in different ways of understanding and celebrating Christmas in the variety of languages we use to present the Christmas event in. And lastly, just give me a sense of that feeling in Reed Chapel when Silent Night starts. <laughs> and especially, I always get chills when everybody joins in at the very end. Yeah, it, it's, it's such a nice ending to the, to the whole thing. I mean, and, and this year, German will be singing a cappella, with, so no, no accompaniment, and all four parts in the, in the regular Silent Night I myself actually go down to help sing with them because I can hit those pedal tone notes. And then um, <clears throat> we add on different languages and it, start, it just builds and builds and builds. And then it begins with piano, it begins sort of quietly and, and 
almost somberly at first, as befits that particular piece. And then it builds and builds and builds until finally becomes a joyous celebration of the Christmas season. And you have an opportunity to watch that rendition of Silent Night live at 10 a.m. December 1st at samford.edu slash live. Also later that evening, Hanging of the Green will be live streamed at the same website. I'm Brad Radice and you've been listening to the Bulldog Conversation.